Matt George, this evening in Southern California, the Grant Pacers competed for their second straight state title. And ABC 10's own Kevin John was at Saddleback College covering all the action. Yes, I'm here at Saddleback College in Orange County. And if we learned anything about the Grant Pacers this year, it's that they can stare adversity straight in the face and bounce back. And in tonight's state championship game against Lucerna, Grant was hit with the kind of adversity no team wants to go through. And here they come, the Grant Pacers seeking back-to-back -back state titles. And the thing about Grant, their fans show up and show all the way out. Pacers Nation was in full force as they made the trip from Sacramento. Also, Grant has one of the most funkiest bands in the nation. If you don't know, now you know. The Pacers facing the Lucerna Lancers out of Whittier. We'll pick this one up in the first quarter. Pacers in the red zone, and Luke Alexander throws a strike to Kobe Shabazz for the first touchdown of the game. Now we're gonna take a quick break from the game to enjoy this beautiful Southern California sunset. All right, back to the game now. To the second quarter, Grant in the red zone. Wayshawn Parker takes the handoff, herbs the word, spins the verb. No diggity, no doubt. Pacers go up 13-7 to now. Now with just seconds left before the half, this is the play that changed everything. Grant ball, Luke Alexander rolls out, looking for a receiver, doesn't find anyone, so he decides to take off to pick up some yardage, but he gets viciously hit by a defender. Scary moment as Luke lay on the field for about 10 minutes. The the good news is that he was okay, but he would not return to the game because of a concussion. Grant trailed 14 to 13 at the half to the fourth quarter now. Lacerna with the ball. CJ Cerrone throws this one up for Owen Long and watch the concentration by Long as he juggles this and hangs on to it for the touchdown. Lacerna would take a 21 to 13 lead, but here come the Pacers. Later in the quarter, Devin Green takes the handoff and Green standing on big business as he nearly breaks this one for the touchdown he's brought down around the 25 yard line a few plays later mr green finishes the job as he channels his inner superman and leaps over and gets in for the touchdown wow so now to the play of the game. Grant needs the two-point conversion to tie. Wayshawn Parker takes the handoff, but he stopped just short. And that's how close Grant came to tying the game and potentially securing another state title. The Pacers would fall to Lucerna 21-19. I mean, this team is my family, so I'm trying to take this team to championship when the state, but clearly we didn't. But it's just that this team is my family, and I don't want to let them down. I'm not down. I'm just sad that, man, I'm a big pacer. Like, I, I, I mean, this is all I got. It's all I know. So just, just like it's my, being my last year and I can't play with them, it just hurts. The Pacers have no reason to hang their heads low. In the meantime, we have two other local football teams playing tomorrow for state championships, the Folsom Bulldogs and the Woodland Christian Cardinals. And, of course, we'll have a full recap of both of those games tomorrow at 8 and 11 o'clock right back here on ABC 10.